The fourth and final video in our series is entitled How to Read the Dashboard. So after you send a review request, your patients are going to do something. They're either going to respond or they are not. But let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what they're doing when they do respond. So first of all, you're, want to go, you're going to want to go to the second button here, Dashboard, and it will show you everything that's happened. So let's just take a look and start down here with Josh Smith. And to the far left, we'll start here, notice there's a little purple dot. Now that purple dot indicates that they got the email or text and opened it. So you can see here, for example, Rose Hanaclaw has not opened uh, her review request yet. You can see the date the request was sent, how it was sent. Now, as you know from Video Tool, the rule of thumb is always send an email. If you're going to send a text, make sure you send an email too. So in these two cases, both Dave Jones and Janet Smith were sent a text and an email. Now you can see the name of the person you sent the request to. And once again, when you send the request, you want to send it to the first name, last name, and capitalize the first letter of each name. And you do that so that it really looks good in the email. Now to the right of that, you're going to see a blue hand with a string tied around the finger. There's nothing under here currently. If three days had gone by, and today is February 9th, so there are no days that have passed, if three days had gone by, and this is February 12th, and Rose hadn't done anything, you'd see a little check mark here, and it will go out automatically. And that check mark is the off the hook review reminder that again we talked about in video two. The next column shows you uh, that a, um, a coupon or flyer was sent. So if we click on the word sent to the right of Josh's name, you can see that, and obviously this is our demo dental thing, so it looks, ugh, uh, you're going to have your own logo. It's going to look much better than this. But you can see the actual flyer that was sent to Josh Summers down, or Josh Smith when I click on the sent button. You can see when they responded and how they responded. Now let's just take a look first of all at the different star ratings. To start with, up here at the top, you can see that the orange star means they rated you only. And here's an example. When they got the review request, they clicked on three or four stars and click continue, but they never followed through. They actually never did anything. So if they just rated you and stopped, uh, that's when you're going to see the orange stars. Now again, one of the solutions to get people to actually write something is when the dentist or hygienist ask the patient to write something if they wrap up their request by saying, I'm looking forward to reading your comments. That'll encourage people to actually follow through and do more than just rate you. Now the green box indicates they visited a review site. It doesn't mean they wrote a review. It means they visited a review site. So we notice here Dave Jones visited a review site. Let's click on Dave's name and I can see that Dave visited Google. Now the only way to see if Dave actually wrote a review on Google is to click on Google and look. If you see Dave's name there, he wrote a review. If Dave if, if, if there's not a review there by Dave, he just didn't write the review. And keep in mind, only about half of your customers that click on the review sites are actually going to write a review. So just note that the green stars mean they went to one or more of the review sites and they may or may not have written a review. The only way you're going to know is to look. The blue stars indicate they wrote a testimonial. Now, some, the system you're on may have the testimonial feature turned on or not. But if it does and they wrote a testimonial, you'll see blue stars. And if we click on Janet Johnson's name in the top left, we can actually see what Janet said here. Now there's lots of things you can do with testimonials. You can share them on your Facebook page. You can feature them on the page where other people write reviews. And you can learn a lot more about what to do here when you look at the collected data section over here. But let's go back to the dashboard one more time. And down here we'll notice there's four stars. The red stars indicate they gave you less than five star feedback. And on that page, if they give you less than five stars, they're taken to a page, as you know from video three, that says, what can we do to improve our service? So if we click on Josh's name, we can see that Josh wrote, the office is always cold. Other than that, everything is great. But this is what feedback would look like, and it does not go on the internet. So this is what these star ratings mean. Now, 
Keep in mind about one out of every four or one out of every three customers are just not going to respond. They're going to open your email and they're going to do nothing. And the reason for that is uh, th that people are way more likely to tell you, oh, sure, I'll write a review and not do it because it's easier just telling you they'll do it and not do it. So don't let your feelings get hurt if half the people, or not half, but between one in four and one in three people don't write a review. Now, if you're doing a really, really good job, you're going to notice that slightly more than half of all the people you send a request to are responding in some way, shape, or form. There are people that have as high as an 80% response rate, four out of every five, five people responding. If your response rate is very low, for example, no one is responding, or only one out of five, it's a pretty good indication that one of three things is happening. One, you're not providing that outstanding service that you need to to get a review. Two, uh, nobody is asking the patient to write a review, which, by the way, is against our terms of service. But if you're not asking someone to write a review, they're not going to do it. Or number three, you're not sending the review request based on video two while you are still in the presence of the patient. So if you see that less than half of your people are responding, it's for one of those three reasons. Now, off to the right, you can see which doctor is associated with that particular review request. So you know from the uh, request review page that you can select which doctor. Now, off to the right, you see something called action taken. Here's what that means. That means uh, that at this point, no one, when you see the word no, it means no one has thanked the patient for writing a review yet. Now, if we go to Janet Johnson's name and we take a look at that, here's what Janet wrote. And under customer called, someone clicked on the word no and it changed to a yes, indicating that they called Janet Johnson and thanked her for her wonderful testimonial, which, by the way, is a very important thing to do. You can certainly email someone and thank them. You can send them a handwritten thank you note. But quite frankly, there's nothing as valuable as someone in your office calling the patient as soon as they write a review or a testimonial, thanking them for doing what they did. And by the way, the sooner you can thank them for doing that, the more likely they are to forward that flyer on to their friends. So they're going to get the flyer and you want them to get the flyer at the same time you call them to thank. So let's go back to the dashboard and we know here that um, Dave went to Google. So let's go to Dave's name. We see that Dave went to Google. Now we already know that Dave didn't write a review because we've already checked on that. And here's the question. Well, what if we see Dave went to Google? Should we call him and thank him for the attempt to write a review? And the answer to that is no. You don't want to call someone who intentionally did not follow through to write a review. Just let it go. And another question I get is, uh, what if someone does write a review and I call and I get their answering machine? Should I leave a message on their answering machine? And the answer is yes. So in this case, let's assume that we saw Dave's review on the internet and you decided to call Dave. All you would do is click on the word no, notice it turns to a yes, and when you go back to the dashboard next to Dave's name, there's the word yes. So you know that you have in fact verbally thanked Dave for writing a review. Now, Josh wrote a four-star feedback. Should we thank Josh? I mean, he didn't give us a review anywhere. The answer is yes. If Josh tells you the office is cold, how great would it be for Josh for you to call and say, Josh, we just saw your feedback. I appreciate so much you telling me the office is cold. We're going to pay attention to that. Um, was not aware that was an issue. Thank you. I would definitely call him and change that uh, no to a yes. And now you know you have thanked people. This doesn't mean you're thanking people for a review. It means you're thanking people for their feedback. Now, why do you not see no next to Stevie Nicks or Rose Hanaclaw? It's because they haven't done anything yet. Uh, Steve just gave a rating, but he never wrote anything, so there's nothing to thank him for. And the same with Rose Hanaclaw. Now, as time goes on, you're going to see the word no as the default, and I strongly encourage uh, you to call those guys and thank them for what they're doing. 
Now, that is in essence how the dashboard works. If you want to learn more about reviews and testimonials and feedback, I encourage you to click through the collected data and just look at all the things that are in here. This is where you'll accumulate the reviews, testimonials, and feedback. This is where you can share them to Facebook and a variety of other places, and there's a ton of great things you can do here. So that is how the dashboard works, and it becomes, if you're anything like me it becomes absolutely engaging it's hard not to one other thing I want you to notice look at Dave Jones let's click on his name for example and when I do if you scroll to the bottom of the page you can see everything that Dave did you can see the email was sent at 1 28 a.m. now that's uh, that's the time I'm doing this recording. It's kind of ridiculously early. You can see what time it was sent, when it's delivered, and you know what task Dave did, where he opened it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's tons of information you can see here as well in the dashboard. But anyway, that is how you read the dashboard. And the goal is to ask as many people as you can and make sure that you're asking in such a way and you're sending the review request based on video too, so that at least half of the people people are responding to your review request. If you've got more than 50% of your patients responding, you're doing a good job. If you're up in the three quarters of the people responding, you're doing an extremely good job. All right. With that, if you have any questions about the system, now that you've seen this, you can always contact us here in Hawaii by clicking on contact support and you'll see here's our phone number 808-891-0449. Uh, We're available from 7 a, uh, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time and feel free to call us. We're here to help you. All right. Thanks a million. I wish you the very, very best and I know you're going to do a great job getting some wonderful reviews and testimonials. Thank you.